power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Faithful God, we now unite in prayer as those disciples did on the first day of Pentecost and open ourselves to receive the very same Holy Spirit. We members of the Worldwide Anglican Communion, in accordance with the Anglican Cycle of Prayer, pray for the people of the Church of Southern Africa under the leadership of Archbishop Thabo Makoba. We pray for the people of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Iceland, with which we are associated, under the leadership of Bishop Agnes. In our own diocese, we pray for Archbishop Justin, Bishop Sarah, Bishop Rob, and in our own parish, Miriam, Andrew, and Julie. Bring your inspiration and energy to their ministries. May they and we be refreshed with your peace that comes through the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. We pray that the Holy Spirit of peace might help the leaders of nations to seek justice and peace. We pray for the people of Ukraine, Russia and all nations that war and bloodshed can be avoided and a new just peace can be forged out of this crisis. Grant wisdom to the leaders of nations, calling them to end provocation on all sides and invest instead in the things that make for peace, as called for in our faith traditions. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, pray. we ask your blessing on the Queen as she continues her work amongst us. Sustain and strengthen her in these later years. Grant her the health and strength that she seeks to fulfil her tasks. And bless those who will support her in shouldering new and increased responsibilities. Inspire them and us to continue to lead and serve according to her example. We ask for your blessing on the homeless, such as the man sleeping in a shop doorway in Golders Green this morning. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. breathe health, wholeness and hope into the hearts of all who are unwell. Grant refreshment to their spirits. Restore them to full fellowship with all who love them. Bless everyone who cares for them, especially those whose research and skill brings new hope to those afflicted by suffering. We pray for those who have asked for our prayers, particularly for John, Peter, Eileen, Lucy, Eric, Pauline, Sylvia, Gwyn, George, Francesca, Matt, Cherie and David. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for those saddened by the death of a family member, loved one or friend, either recently or whose anniversary falls at this time of year. Help them to draw comfort from your love, the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the church family. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. In the power of the Holy Spirit, we entrust our prayers and petitions into your hands, gracious Father, for the sake of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. 